So this is um how to install hood pins on your new edge because I've gotten a fair amount of questions on how to do this. And yeah. So if if your hood latch breaks, which I haven't had happen yet, um or if you have a really light hood like this, this is um fiberglass. So it's extremely extremely flexible and bendable and whatnot. So <clears throat> this is pretty easy now don't mind this this is from a tree a tree fell on this car for those of you who don't know for a lot of you that don't know on youtube but yeah so you have two little you have two two choices here i don't like this one but you can drill a hole into this it's just a flat piece of metal and it's going to go about in the middle of the hood about right here somewhere uh I don't really like that. I don't like that on the stock hoods at all. So what I've learned, don't mind this, okay? Do not mind that. Do not mind that. But, uh, yeah, the, this is where the stock hood stop goes to adjust the height of the hood against the fender right here, the fleshness. Um, so you're just going to want to break that thing out, take it out, remove it, whatever. Take these out easy as that and then you can go under in here under this little hole in here and you can put your finger down in there so what you're going to want to do is drop one of these nuts down in the hole and yeah basically you're going to have two choices um again it's it's that or this those, those are your two choices and then your other two choices or you can either slice into the frame right here and right here. So you're going to slide this hood pin right in. And the nut will just hold on to it. You can put a washer underneath it if you'd really like to. Or you can grab um, something like this. Literally, this is it. This is what I use. Wrap some sandpaper around it and just go in and out of the hole. And it'll fit eventually. It all depends on the diameter of your actual hood pin. Uh... But yeah, that's it. These were like fifteen or fourteen dollars at O'Reilly's. Uh, someone backed up into my car, so that's why this is like this, and it messed up the um, the headlight um, plastics all right here. And yeah, messed up the headlight. These are also messed up on this junky headlight. So it's just gonna be this way until I can get a whole other pair of these. But <laughs> that's it. And then to actually drill the holes in your hood, you gotta you know, take it, take it off, you know, and set it down on the pin. And you're gonna get a little bit of grease or just something to mark on the end of this pin. So when you shut it, it'll show you exactly where to drill. And don't try to drill at an angle because you think, well, the hood's up, you know. Let me drill it at so and so angle just don't do that don't trust me don't just drill it straight through where it goes through because i did that and these these were a little bit wonky and that's not from it being wonky that's that's from a tree falling on it like just like that so yeah that's that's all it takes to install hood pins and then you want to put these on there you don't have to i recommend it i mean they get scratched up but yeah, that's that's it. Just put grease on the end of your thing, put it on the thing, and drill. That's it. And I do still use part of my safety latch, so my hood doesn't ever completely latch with a stock latch. Um, so if I were to forget my hood pins, I'd just you know, see it flopping up a little bit, and it wouldn't go completely onto my windshield and everything. <clears throat> So that's a very important thing too, that I very, 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 very much recommend is you use part of this safety latch. You use the sock safety latch for when you pop it. Like right now the hood is popped basically. And I use, my body lines are controlled by the hood pins kinda. So if I want to make this hood sit lower, I'll just have to go under here and you know, remove some of this and put it more down there tighten it up that's it that's all there is to it this is my first time installing hood pins and 
I'm going to tell you, just don't try to go at an angle from the way it's sitting from when you shut it. Just go straight through it. Uh, it might be a little bit different for you, but that's how it was for me. And that's what I've experienced. And so many people ask me where to put them. So the answer is in your stock hood stop. That is the answer. So, yes. Uh, tree fell on the car. Yeah. So basically that, that's what happened. The tree fell on the car. I got a parts car. I put it up on the screen, a couple pictures of it. Um, also, here's a couple pictures of the actual car, what it looked like when it got hit. Um, yeah, so I went and got that parts car, cut the roof out. Basically, there's spot welds all around this entire roof. And I just cut it out. And the slight metal that was bent right here, I just bent it back. Um, I hate saying, oh, I'm going to keep saying it. This was also bent. The tree dented right in the middle of here and left about a four inch gap in between the glass and this actual surface where it seals to. So, yeah, I just window welded the same weld, same uh, glue you use for the windows. I had just glued the roof on and put a four or five bolts all around. Uh, the tree did catastrophically mess up this a pillar body panel, whatever. So that's why it's silver. And yeah, the roof isn't the best, but the windshield leaks a little bit. What else? It's also, you know, not the best quality. It's a junkyard windshield. Um, cause I cracked the first one in that junk car. I did not get it out and I ended up cracking it. And I really wanted this just for the sake of having it because I don't want it to look a little weird because I feel like it doesn't look as weird as the back does. It does a little bit. It also cracked the trunk crazy. Yeah. And it also dented the quarter panel and dented this door right here. So yeah, that's that. that's the worst of it right there. Honestly, besides this roof, that was, this is the worst of it. And I, I really don't feel like pulling off another quarter, or not another quarter, pulling off more stuff like a quarter. And that car didn't even have good quarters that I had. Quarters were all scratched up, like deep, really bad. So, yeah, uh, we've, we've lowered it. I've lowered it. Me and my homie, we cut the springs. And... I give it a, an eight, an eight. It's not, it's not bad at all over stock. Like it is a little bouncy, but that's what you get when you lower a car. I've learned that. You are going to bounce when you lower a car. You have to understand that. It's gonna be a little, do, 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 do. Gonna be a little bit like that. So, yeah. Uh, problem, another problem I'm having is this window is not wanting to seal. Um, I don't know if it's cause Something I messed up putting this trim in, but that side does not leak. This side doesn't. I mean, this side does leak. That side does not. And this is where the tree hit. And yeah. So you kind of get the picture. I don't know if it's because of the seal or actually because of the, the whole body. Because I will show you here, actually. You can you can kind of see how it's how it's a little, a little messed up. I had to bend some of that all out right back there just so i was sure the window is gonna have the full seating that it needed there are some of the bolts how many did we put back here we put one two three wow that's it yeah there's four there's another one over there did you see how nice that is and how wonky this kind of is you can definitely definitely tell like i can't get my hand back up in there but i can get my hand up in here one of the uh, bolts for uh, this panel back here did not want to just come out and nor does it want to go back in but yeah that is an update for the mustang and for all of you that want to know how to install hood pins that's how to install hood pins it's it's as simple as that uh we are still running on the cracked trans with JB Weld, so it's still leaking. So, 
if you got a 3650 TR 3650 for cheap, but you know that it's in good condition, let me know because I am not spending like $800 on a used one. I'm not spending $1,200 on a used one because I can go buy a brand new one for like three to four or five hundred dollars more, and it's just not worth it to me at this point. I got this last transmission for five hundred dollars. Lasted me 11 months, and culprit, I believe, is partly due to the drive shaft. So, yeah, that's it. That's that's all. It's, it's an update for the Mustang. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you guys when the, when the next thing happens. But, yeah, it's lowered. It's looking spicy, looking nice fitment. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see you boys later.